Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. Today we're going back over to the Great Divide Brewing Company over in Denver, Colorado. And this is a bottle of the Hercules Double IPA, which is clocking in at 10% ABV, is that? Did I just read that correctly? Because uh, the only ABV that I've got this. Yeah, 10% ABV, fucking hell, didn't realise it was that heavy. Um, yeah, the last time, and the only time I've had a Great Divide beer was the Yeti, which was just one of the best Imperial Stouts that I've ever had. And it's, for one that's pretty much like somewhat widely available in the States and part of like a core range, it was just absolutely out of this world. And uh, yeah, it's amazing that we're getting uh, the Great Divide stuff here in Germany now. It's been imported by Dera Import, who uh, they had a stand actually at the Regensburg Craft Beer Festival. And I got talking to uh, one of the people from the company there who are based in Berlin. And uh, she seemed like a really awesome person. So we were talking and uh, I had tried the, is it Saugatuck? The blueberry maple uh, stout or something like that. Again, beautiful stuff. So for beers like this to be here in Germany is just a wonderful, wonderful thing. And I think those guys are also bringing in stuff like um, uh, Left Hand, because I know you can get the uh, the nitro stout, milk stout. So, um, yeah, pick this up from Beretta and... Uh, yeah, if they stock more beers from Great Divide, I'm going to be a very happy chappy because it's a brewery. I'm just adjusting my uh, really dirty um, straps from my uh, hoodie. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Trust me, it's like take four of me trying to start this beer review. Um, yeah, so just seeing these beers making their way over here to Germany is a wonderful thing. And then, yeah, I've been wanting to try this for quite a long time to be honest and uh, it's it's one of those things where if i see more great divide beers um, chances are i'm gonna try and get hold of them but yeah 10 percent double ipa uh wouldn't that be like going towards a triple ipa i'm not too sure um but yeah anyway i don't really care what i do care about is the fact that look got the bastard import stuff stuck all over the label so hopefully i can save it but that being said the yeti label just disintegrated on me when i took it off so uh, i mean it's coming off now because it's been in the fridge so hopefully i can uh, take all this off i'm happy to sacrifice the 25 cents deposit but uh yeah fantastic looking artwork and uh yeah a good old-fashioned double ipa so, not seeing any of my friends or people who are watching on a regular basis review this one, but I'm sure they have, especially sort of the stateside guys. But um, yeah, lovely label on the neck, and there is the Great Divide crown. So um, yeah, very very excited for this one. Uh, best before date actually is thirty first of twelve two thousand seventeen. So it's probably not the freshest, but you know, are you really going to complain? So anyway, let's pour it into the glass. So yeah, like I said, picked this up from Beretta, and I've said this in uh, most of my recent reviews of beers that I've picked up from there. They're just going from strength to strength with the uh, just wide, wide range of beers that they're starting to stock. And uh, yeah, fridge 55 milliliter bottle, but it wasn't filled that much actually, because it's only just filled uh, my tepu. Well, that being said, it's, yeah, it's probably about right. Anyway, uh, rambling on, as I usually do. Beer in a glass, then. And just look at that. Almost has, like, a, a slight ruby tinge to it. But it's definitely more along the lines of, like, a dark amber, burnt orange sort of sunset look to it. Looks considerably darker on camera. But uh, looking here, uh, yeah, lovely tiny bits of particulate floating around in that glass, just su suspended nicely. Uh, carbonation seems nice and steady. Beer poured with about one finger's worth of a slightly tan coloured head. But um, yeah, it certainly looks nice and really dense and juicy. So let's see what we get on the aroma. 
Wow. No harshness whatsoever. Very, very sweet smelling beer. Has like a very slightly fruity caramel aroma to it. Yeah, definitely a little bit more of like a chewy malt profile. Uh, just quickly having a look, see if it gives me any uh, ingredients. Uh, bottled on April the 6th, 2017. So actually, not that um, old, to be fair. I mean, it is the 1st of August today, but you know what? There's, I've had older beers uh, from around Europe, you know, so it, I'm not really going to complain too much. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't really give you any of the... Um, Ingredients. All it says is it was a gold medal winner at the Australian International Beer Awards, silver medal at the Australian International Beer Awards 2008. Uh, it got gold medal in 2007. Uh, world's 50 best. I can't stop saying it with the beer right here, so I'm going to happily keep it there. Uh, and yes, I've just come out of the shower. Uh, world's 50 best international beer challenge in 2006. Suggested food, 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 food pairings are. Uh, Beef short ribs. What the hell is that? Uh, garlicky bruised greens. Is that? Uh, yeah, apple tart. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just cannot read this bottle. Uh, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> this is an absolute atrocious beer review. Apologies to the guys over at uh, the Great Divide. Because I'm royally messing this up. Let's have another sniff. Lovely, like, sort of, like, resiny, piney tones coming through as well. Like, a really sticky piece of resin. And, yeah, it's just got that, like, really sticky feel to it coming from the aroma. Like, as if if you, if you it was a physical, like, object, if the aroma was a physical object and you'd have it in your hands, you know, your fingers would be, like, rip, you're pulling your fingers apart and stuff like that. Just so dense in terms of that stickiness. Uh, but not, no, you know, ABV of 10% not coming through at all in this beer. Yeah, it smells wonderful. I'm already nearly eight minutes in. I've not even tasted the fucker. It's going to be a long review. Cheers. Oh, wow. I was not expecting it to be like that. It's got a really big hit of dark, sticky, resiny hops. Straight away. Getting almost like a slightly sweetened coffee flavour coming through as well. A little bit of like a, a prickly, maybe tobacco note to it as well on the palate. Big hit of bitterness on the back end, but doesn't linger too much. Actually, yeah, it does. Almost has like a, an Imperial Porter sort of aftertaste to this one. It's not a malt bomb by any stretch because those hops are definitely there. But this to me tastes more along the lines of like a triple IPA. Uh, it sort of reminds me... Um, even though my memory could be a bit foggy, of uh, the Devil Hunter from uh, Founders, that triple IPA. Is it the Devil Hunter? I can't remember. But yeah, almost getting like a, when you've baked a cake and you get like, it's caught a little bit on the side, where it's not like burnt, but it's a little bit darker. You're getting that in this. Such a robust beer. Lovely, malty, cakey tones, but then you get this lovely, dense, hoppy, powerhouse flavour coming through. A little bit earthy. Perfect balance of sweet and savoury in this one. Very resiny. You know, very, very resiny. Absolutely wonderful. It's one of those beers where... It's 
you are not picking that up. And the only reason why you're taking your time with this beer is because of this just really almost intense resiny hop character. It's like a resiny hoppy, like dense, like ginger cake. It's absolutely wonderful. It's so... I've never had an IPA that's tasted... Obviously, like an IPA, it's got the quality first foremost, but it's like a dessert IPA. It's absolutely wonderful stuff. It really, really is. Not for everyone. I think some people will be a little bit put off by this one. But I'm, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. I, can't, I really cannot think of anything about this beer that I do not like. And it's pretty much a pitch perfect beer. Maybe the only minor complaint I'd have for my palate is it's more along the lines of maybe a triple IPA. Oh yeah. Again, that resininess. It, it's like coming back up. Not in like a vomit way. Don't misconstrue me in that regard. But If you've ever smoked marijuana and you get that aftertaste it's not just like the smoke aspect like when you've had a cigarette you taste just the nasty smoke aspect but when you've had like a really uh, good quality spliff that's the sort of feeling I'm getting now it's just wonderful uh, there are so many things about this beer that I wouldn't even be able to touch upon with my palate as it is now. Uh, more experienced drinkers than I would be able to give you just so many wonderful characteristics of this beer. But from my palate, triple IPA is not really my thing. Double IPAs, I like usually I like them a bit more hoppier. But this is just, it's familiar. But there are so many things going on it that just take it to a <coughs> Another level into a completely different direction. Lovely resiny burp as well. It's just resin, 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 caramel, malt, cake. And it's unbelievable how well balanced that 10% ABV is. Uh, it's just it's a phenomenal beer. Uh, so, uh, surprise, surprise, 10 out of 10. That's two beers from Great Divide that I've had now that have both been 10 out of 10. And uh, I want more. I want more beers from these guys. I want to get like a one of the barrel aged Yeti stouts, which I know Brewdog had them for like 18 quid. You know, maybe last year I'd thought, oh, it's way too expensive. But now I'd be like, yeah, when am I going to get the opportunity to drink something like that again? So, uh, yeah, great divide for me. They're doing a great job from the two beers that I've had. And I've only had two beers. Take that into consideration. You should always take my reviews with a pinch of salt. I've made some really stupid claims over the couple of years that I've been doing this, but um, believe you me, this is an almost flawless beer, and uh, it's a 10 out of 10 from me. So if you've tried this one, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. Am I correct? Am I completely um, off with this one? Uh, feel free to you know let me know what you think. Uh, what are some of your favourite beers from Great Divide? Uh, if you can think of any beers that sound like this one uh, from any other brewery, give me those recommendations as well. Of course, check out my review of the Yeti Imperial Stout. Check out Great Divide. Check out Beretta. Uh, check out Dara as well, um, because they're bringing in some absolutely insane beers to Germany. And uh, yeah, the, the, the whole international like, craft brewing scene is still somewhat young, but I've just seen so much wonderful uh i've seen so many wonderful things happen in the short time that i've been here in germany and uh, you know you don't have to go whale hunting when you're surrounded by so many intriguing and world-class beers so uh yeah thank you guys for watching thank you for sticking with me for 15 minutes um, i really appreciate you guys who do stick around to the end i appreciate you guys who click on the video in the first place um, although i don't really show it enough uh, especially when i'm like 
in terms of comments and uh, when we're doing live streams so we'll seem to forget the uh, conversation going on in the comments so I do apologize about that but um, yeah bottom line is give this beer a try if you get the opportunity to and if you do let me know your thoughts opinions anyway thank you guys for watching and I shall hopefully see you later first